All right. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be very short. I'm just going to be telling you like my solution on how I was able to fix the error code. God, I don't know. The error code was so freaking long. Uh, either way, it's error code that comes up that says like there's like a problem. There's like an update. And this is how I was able to fix it. So essentially you'll need to download the uh, system update OS and you could just download that here. It's this file right here and you'll need like a USB drive and then you'll need to format that USB drive to NTFs. Once you do that, follow these steps. So I'll put this in the description and then you'll need to update your Xbox. So um, for this sake, we are using the Series X and then you'll need to uh, go through these steps. So turn it off and then for like the Series S and the Series X, um, if there's like a digital version, just hit the pair and eject button. I actually have the disk drive one and the disk like the eject button wasn't working so I used the pair button on my Series X and that works so holding that and the power button at the same time when it is powered off and then what you do is you'll get you'll get this troubleshooting guide that comes up and then this is when you plug in your USB drive don't have the USB drive plugged in when you're doing the on and off um, because it, it'll like just mess it up and it just won't work. So make sure you plug in the USB drive after you get this, then select this, then it should go through um, kind of like the update. And don't get alarmed that everything is updating at like 6, 480p. Uh, you can update that later. I was a little worried. But when you do get to the home page, you are good to go and you shouldn't have that problem. The problem I was having is I couldn't install like the latest game like Elden Ring. And I'm currently installing that right now. So pretty excited. Um, and yeah, uh, as you could tell, I have like zero games because I literally deleted all my games. So now I'm reinstalling them all. But I have all my data saved in the cloud, so not too worried. Hope this helps out anyone. All right, peace.